Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my comment call for June 8th, uh, 2011. And as you can see, this is a monster sized stack. Probably one of the largest stacks I've ever had in a, in a great while. Um, actually, thought this was going to be a light week, but actually, it really is kind of a light week because there's a combination of uh, discount comic book books and lots of manga. We got uh, Claymore number 18, which is going to be awesome because this is like just nonstop action right now. Just fight scenes after fight scenes. Uh, next up is Slam Dunk Basketball. Ultimo number 5. Uh, Bakuman number 5 also. And uh, Blue Exorcist number 2. And uh, here's the Marvel books here. I got. This was from the Discount Comic Book, but it's like uh, a Hulk promo thing. Uh, Annihilator's number four. And no, this was not the cover that I wanted. Um, this was the only copy that they had left on the shelf. My comic store forgot to put this in my box, and um, I was stuck with this one. Uh, next up is the Death of Spider, Ultimate Spider-Man number 159. I read this. Wow. That's all I got to say. Wow. New Avengers number 13. Very good. Who are the mystery men? I'm kind of curious to see what this is about. Um, if, it's, if it's a fail, then I'll just stop it after this issue. Uh, Ghost Rider 0 0.1, and that's only because I knew that there would be a bunch of people going... Did you get Ghost Rider? Did you, did you, did you? Well, I did get Ghost Rider. Um, I don't know why they just didn't call it one. Uh, like X-Men Legacy number 250. This has got to be one of the most... This this wins the ugly cover of the week. By far. Ugliest. Uh, DC side, there's Batman and Robin number 23. Uh, Batman 710. Detective... 877, Birds of Prey 13, Caligula number 2. Now, this might be the very last issue of Caligula. Um, the last page haunted me, and I'm, I'm, I fear of the nightmares that I will get because of that last page. Um, I won't mention what it is. I'm going to make you either look for it online or go to your comic store and be horrified um, but I don't think I can I've seen a lot of bad things and I don't think I could take the, what what could happen in issue 3 uh, DuckTales uh, number 1 I, I just got it on a whim because I heard Darkwing Duck was good and um, if this is good then I'll add it to my pool only just because it's something different and I I really appreciate something different as you notice from my pull list you know I sometimes go all over the board and um, so I'm hopeful I mean I used to like watching DuckTales too uh, G.I. Joe Cobra the death of Cobra Commander if you want to read Civil War this is the trade that you need to get that sparks it uh, because this is the issue where or the trade where Cobra Commander gets killed and I, this is probably the, the one trade that I am looking forward to reading the most. So, this one will definitely be read soon. And I got the Bomb Queen Omnibus. Uh, this was on um, Discount Comic Book Service, so it was at a discount. And, you know, I don't know. When, call me just crazy, I guess. But, I just wanted something that was that looked funny, like an entertaining type comic that did not take themselves seriously. I I don't know what else would have appealed, but I just thought that this could be kind of fun. Um, and since this, since this is the omnibus, it has uh, those three those three trades right there. So. Um, We'll see if it's any good or not. Uh, if you have any com comments or questions, let me know.
uh, rate the video up or down, let me know what you think. Um, I'm curious to know what's in your guys' pull list. Um, did you guys pick up any of the Fear itself tie-ins or the, um, oops, the Flashpoint? Uh, let me know. And um, also, how many people out there got in from this? I did. It's really, really good. I really enjoy it even though it's pretty much the same game as the first one, but it's still pretty good. Uh, anyways, I'll, have, I'll try to get reviews out as quickly as I can. Um, it might be hard because I'm going to be playing Infamous. So, um, until next time.